Here is what happened on the latest edition of Morning Glory. Today's topic, why wearing socks in bed can cure a low libido. <laughs> Have you got a low libido? Well, it could be because it, well, it varies from person to person. If you notice a change in desire or sexual function, it's actually worth investigating because it could be a sign of a physical or mental health issue. Uh, says Dr. Michael Pering. He's a GP specializing in sexual medicine. Uh, that's a new one, sexual medicine. Generally, if a person has a good sex life, it's an indicator of good health. Uh, low libido or erectile dysfunction can sometimes indicate an underlying condition such as diabetes. Okay, now the first thing is cold feet. Surprisingly, one simple way for women to boost their libido is to pop on a pair of socks. Uh, in a study at the University of Groningen in the Netherlands, and I'd love to have a quick look at that study, researchers found that 80% of women involved were able to achieve orgasm when they were given socks to wear compared with 50% when barefooted. <laughs> Good experiment. What are you doing today? I'm experimenting women's orgasms with their wearing socks. Uh, according to Gert Holstege, who led the study, it's all connected with how safe and comfortable women feel, the regions of the brain responsible for anxiety and fear, the amygdala and prefrontal cortex. They need to be deactivated for a woman to successfully reach climax. You never knew that, did you, ladies? Uh, a pleasant environment, which includes the room temperature, is an important part of making her feel safe, secure and comfortable. And for men, some men worry that baldness affects their attractiveness, but the treatment for it may leave them underperforming in the bedroom. Uh, lots of men come and see doctors for uh, finisteride, a drug that treats male pattern baldness. This drug behaves by blocking the male hormone testosterone, can therefore have an effect on libido and erectile function. They tend to have a change of heart. Um, worryingly, the effect may not be instantly reversible as well. And a study has found that uh, finisteride can cause persistent sexual dysfunction lasting for an average of 40 months after stopping taking the drug. And although it's a much more mooted theory, there's been no conclusive proof yet that men who go bald are more virile. So there you go. You hear it first here on 96FM. Live on 96FM Morning Glory.